Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical report events and we are covering the event at line selection as of now. And in the previous video, we saw that yes, at line selection event is triggering whenever you are double clicking on a row, you are selecting and do F2. You are selecting and clicking on to choose button, which event is calling at line selection. And we covered one of the important part, one of the most important system variable. Whenever we are selecting a line and going for all these actions, suppose if you are double clicking, selecting and do F2, selecting and clicking on to choose button, which system variable is capturing the contents of that line? Psi L I S E L. You can remember in this way, line selection. It always returns the content of the selected line. So what I will do in one session, I will show the value of this system variable. And based upon that, we will write the logic. This is the best way always, always. Just keep open in debugging mode and write the logic based upon that. So what I will do, I'll put a breakpoint. Firstly, we will open in debugging mode. I'll go for random values so that we can understand fully. Suppose I'm going for order number one, three, five. Three order number, executing. And suppose I'm double clicking on third record where order number is five. Whenever we double clicked, which event triggered at line selection and which system variable has the values of the selected record? This, psi L-I-S-E-N, psi L-I-S-E-N. Now I will open a session, new session of the program, and we will write the logic now. I will remove this random logic now, and we will write the right logic now. Now here, your previous learnings will play a vital role. If you remember, we already cover a topic, substring processing substring processing what is the meaning of that topic means how from a string you can take a substring suppose simple example if we will do the revision of that suppose i am saying lv underscore data is equal to welcome to home suppose from this string, I want suppose welcome. So how I will take? Because from this string, I want a substring. How I will take? We took one golden rule at that point of time that in SAP position always starts from zero. Always remember zero. So the position of W is zero. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is the way how we will count the position. So if I want welcome, if I want substring welcome, how I will write? What is your variable name which has this string lv underscore data plus sign? Which position you want? 0. How many characters you want now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We want 7 characters. So ultimately, this is equal to what? Welcome, welcome. Suppose if I'm storing into one variable, so lv underscore data 1. If I will write this, it will be welcome, welcome. Suppose I will give you more clarity. Suppose if I want 2. T O 2. So what is the starting position of 2? Firstly, I will write LV underscore data plus 0, 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो एट इज द स्टार्टिंग पोजिशन ऑफ टू एट हाउ मेनी कैरेक्टर्स आई वॉन्ट टू कैरेक्टर्स डन आई विल गो फॉर सपोज थर्ड वेरिएबल सपोज आई वॉन्ट होम तो वट इज द स्टार्टिंग पोजिशन ऑफ एच होम वन जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन सो अवर होम स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इलेवेंथ पोजिशन सो हाउ आई विल राइट एल वी अंडर स्कोर डेटा प्लस इलेवेंथ पोजिशन हाउ मेनी कैरेक्टर फोर कैरेक्टर्स बिकॉज होम इज हाउ मेनी कैरेक्टर फोर कैरेक्टर सो दिस इज द वे how we will take a substring from a string you can listen we have we have a separate playlist in which i fully explained how to go for substring processing same thing we need to write the logic here now same thing that's why i opened in the debugging mode what is this this is order number this is order date value this is payment mode and this is currency this is currency now we want to fetch data from which table order item table what is the where condition to fetch data from order item table if you want to fetch data from order item table what you require you only require what order number it means from this whole string we require this substring this substring and maximum pressure will do the cramming part here so they will not understand so it's very important to understand yes this is your full string from this full string you only require this you only require this substring so how we will write the logic firstly i will declare a structure type for order item table because we want to fetch data from order item table it means we need to firstly create a structure type begin of suppose i am saying lty underscore data one in another session i will open order item table first column suppose i will take order number type data element of order number suppose i will take order item number type data element of order item number i will take item cost suppose i will take these three columns end of now i will declare internal table and work areas data 1 so our second internal table and work area is ready now whenever user will double click on a record which event will call at line selection and now we will fetch data from which table order item table select what is first column order number order item number item cost from which table order item table i'll change the name will be stored into internal table now people those who will cram they will simply write now for all entries in first internal table just understand the requirement now this is not our requirement we are not fetching data based upon first internal table what is the where condition to fetch data from the item table whatever the row we are selecting 
that is the where condition to fetch data from item table if i am selecting if i am selecting this third record selecting this third record double clicking on the third record it means order number 5 is the input to fetch data from item table so do not cram now we are not going for for all entries in concept tsa now we have a different requirement itself we are fetching data from item table based upon the selected record based upon the selected record so now how we will write the logic so what is the where condition to fetch data from item table where o and o is equal to now this is the most most important part what is the system variable what is the system variable which has the contents of the selected row this is the system variable plus sign plus sign this is the full system variable value full system variable value now out of that system variable value this is your full string we require only what this we require only what this the start sap position starts from where always 0 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is this this is what your order number is how many characters long 10 characters long so in sap position always starts from where 0 0 now from 0th position you require how many characters how many characters your order number length is what 10 10 so this is the way so maximum people will cram here and they will always write psi diesel plus 0 to 10 my simple understanding suppose if you have a column you have a column and that column is only taking eight characters then how you can write 10 characters there suppose simple example if we have a where condition date date can i still go for 0 to 10 i cannot go for 0 to 10 then how i will write 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 from 11th position my date is starting so i will simply write from 11th position so do not cram in this case what is the where condition to fetch data from item table the order number of the selected row order number of the selected row if i will again open in debugging mode suppose i will open in debugging mode again so that we can get a full clarity there's a time out for debugging after a certain time so it's came out suppose i'm taking 1 and 5 i'm selecting the third record but is the where condition to fetch data from item table is this variable this variable is the full string value full string value and we only require this this is the order number so we put 0 to 10 so whatever is 0 to 10 this system variable 0 to 10 what it will take the order number so this value will go to o number of this item table it will fetch that data of these three column and data will come into this internal table now we will simply simply display the data loop at internal table into work area for every loop there is a end now we will simply display the using a write statement 
वर्क एरिया ऑर्डर नंबर वर्क एरिया ऑर्डर आइटम नंबर दिस इज डेटा वन वर्क एरिया आइटम कॉस्ट नाउ वी विल चेक द सिंटेक्स दिस इज डेटा वन एंड एक्टिवेट द प्रोग्राम so what is the summary of the video in this video we have written the logic to fetch data from item table and but how we will fetch data from item table based upon the order number of the selected row and we all know how we can take a substring from the string position always starts from zero and you can take an in the bracket you need to pass the characters whatever the characters you want so this system variable sai diesel has the values of the selected row has the contents of the selected row and we require order number order number value so but how we have written the logic sai diesel and from zeroth position i want how many characters 10 characters based upon that i fetched data from item table and i displayed using write statement in the next video we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode that will give you most most clarity how this whole program is working so that's it in this video thank you